We're over here at Lakeside Yacht Club again, and looks like they got a boat here that went right into the drink. This used to be the old launch pad. Like they got a couple boats stored up around here, but uh, that don't look uh, that don't look too good. I can hear all the geese yapping off. But there's a little canal. She goes all the way back there, and wraps around. But anyways, we're just doing some little bit of property maintenance. Just a little bit of light snow removal today. Nothing much. Just a little bit of light dusting of snow on the deck here. So just got that shoveled up and we're just laying some salt down because uh, it's Friday today and uh, they'll probably be having an event this weekend. Well, we're just over here at Lakeside Yacht Club. Got a shitload of snow. There's an old barn find, old MG. MGB. She's an old one, that's for sure. Old turquoise blue. We got the deck all done. I shoveled all this. There's some pretty big uh, drifts up here. All in all, not bad though. Little canal there ain't even frozen up. Pretty crazy though for March 14th. Fire decks. Just here at Medina Supply, this is where we get all of our parts. Picking up another belt for another job. They got all kinds of shit. Gauges, gauges, valves. They got everything you need. Stainless steel valves and fittings. They got all kinds of stuff. Bearings, seals, O-rings, V-belts, pulleys, hose fittings. Anything you guys need. Look at the inventory. Well guys, who would have thought that on March 15th, we'd have all this snow. Unbelievable. But, at least we got to uh, go plowing and do some snow removal. The sun's out today, so I'm guessing uh, we're gonna get the big melt now. That's pretty much it for the storm, I think. Uh, they said we might get a little bit more into Friday, but that's about it. Well, good time to test out the uh, Eaton snowblower. We got all kinds of snow. So I'm probably gonna hit it into the into the drifts here and just uh, see if we can put a load onto it.
Yeah, this thing runs awesome. We just had to do a carb clean, so we threw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. It cleaned it up great, and we put it back on. We didn't even have to put a carb kit into it. So I gotta go put the shroud back on, and then uh, we'll go deliver this. And uh, our buddy Filippini just stopped by. He said he burnt out a belt on his snowblower, so we gotta go and pick that up. That thing runs awesome. Uh, I tested it out, make sure it throw the snow there. Yeah, she runs good, so we'll go deliver this to our, uh, our customer there, and then uh, we got another one that we gotta pick up. Eliminator performance, snow removal. Just out here at my cousin's house doing a little bit of snow removal. The old man's driving. I'm wingman, because you know around here they got ditches and all sorts of shit that you gotta look out for. We got ponds, you know. Stuff that you gotta be aware of when you're plowing. Because when there's about, you know, a couple feet of snow on the ground, it could fill in a ditch and you won't even know it's there until it's too late and you're in the fucking cabbage. Tires provided by tire trackers. They dig right in. These aren't snow tires, they're just uh, all season. Got some good meat on them, good tread. You can see there, the plow's on springs, so it's floating. So when it digs in, it just bends over like that. And then you just raise it up just a little bit, and you can keep pushing her. Now we came here yesterday and did some plowing, but you could see guys, that the slush, that's all ice now. So she's starting to freeze, the temperature's starting to drop. I'd say we got quite a bit of snow here. Uh, we got about 25, 30 centimeters, so I'm guessing that's like uh, right around nine, 10 inches of snow. The drifts are the bad part, because it's all open out here. So you get the wind coming across the, the flat ground and uh, there was a couple spots there where there was about, you know, some four foot drifts. Truck handles it like nothing. Well, we got another machine here after uh, we dropped off that one uh, craftsman. We just picked this one up. He said uh, she stopped blowing snow, so I'm assuming he uh, burnt up a belt. But he said something about nylon rope uh, in the auger. So we'll have to take a look at that. He might have got caught up into into something that was underneath the snow that he uh, he wasn't able to see and uh, he could have threw a belt. It's got a Briggs and Stratton 1550 onto it and it fired right up so we'll probably end up just checking the oil level and that's about it. Well I sure hope our garage doesn't flood because everything guys, everything is starting to melt. Well we're back out here in the shop and uh, here's Dave's snow blower from yesterday that we picked up. Uh, I didn't film it because uh, it was really nothing, but but uh, the reason why he was throwing a belt She just lost the, the grip You know when they they get worn out like this it uh, feels more like a, a cotton cloth than it does uh, you know a belt and uh, You start getting them like this guys after they've been wearing 
and uh, it'll just it'll come right off so to replace that you know we just we pulled the uh, the shroud cover there off and then uh, undid the uh, the bolts on the top and just brought the uh, the back end here we brought it back just a little bit uh, so that we had enough room to get in there slipped the old belt off and then put a new belt on and that was a pretty simple fix we had the belt in our inventory there so I'm gonna take it out and uh, try it out in some snow put a load on it make sure that the uh, tension on the belt is uh, proper but you guys can see you know it's real wet now because uh, it's all starting to melt so I'm gonna go easy uh, I won't load it up too heavy I'll probably just uh, take it in in the light stuff there and I don't know maybe maybe back there by the grass and uh, just to put a load on it that's all I just got it running at low idle so you guys can hear me but if you use this switch here that's your uh, shoot control check this out electronic that's all right it goes faster when the engine's running a little higher right there you just press that that's all right eh this thing runs good we'll probably end up doing an oil change uh, next winter for them i think we did it in the fall time we did a tune-up and service on this I just want to put a load on it into the snow and make sure it uh, grows so good. This is what I always tell you guys about, right there. It's so wet and heavy that we clogged up after the second stage. The auger still turned, but it's all clogged up, so I got to get a stick and clear that out. But it is throwing it. So you see what's happening, guys? It's just completely, completely packed in there. This stuff is... Like you can see, it's just, it's like water now, right? So it's clumping all together. You know, I know better uh, than to keep running it. Um, so I, I let off of the, the auger so that your belt isn't still trying to spin that secondary stage, right? Because uh, the auger still turn, all right? But once you get this packed up, it won't throw any snow. So you got all this snow coming in here and it ain't coming out there. So you need something that's bent a little bit. Here in Canada, we got lots of these. So I'm just gonna get in there with a, a hockey stick just to clear it out. Yeah, I mean, it does throw snow, but because it's so wet right now and turned into slush, you can't really throw it far and it's getting uh, it's getting bound up. So, you know, that's, that's one of the biggest issues is uh, people, you know, they try to go and clear their driveway in snow like this and uh, they'll, they'll pack up the second stage there. They'll just keep trying to push forward, you know? They won't back off uh, because they don't know any better. And that's how you burn out a belt. So let me get this cleaned out and then uh, we'll probably deliver this back to our customer. So just to show you guys, I'll get the quick clamp on here and I'll show you the tension. Okay, we got our quick clamp on there and we can see our belt is nice and tight on both sides. You want tension on both sides so this thing's done. I'll put the shroud back on. I just wanted to take that off to show you guys. Another happy customer. 